All right. How are we doing this morning, ladies and gentlemen? How are we doing? Um, hope everybody is uh, doing well out there. Today is uh, 28 September 2020. Uh, out here in Las Vegas, it's like 6.03, so it's right past 6 in the morning. And I'm out here just trying to get a little bit of money. I got to go get my car washed and stuff, you know, get that checked out, serviced. Don't have a lot to do today. But, you know, it's back on the grind. I just got on vacation and all that and uh, a couple of weeks ago. So what I wanted to talk about is it's one of the uh, these subjects uh, concerning uh, Dak Prescott. And although I like Washington, formerly the Redskins, uh, I think that Dak Prescott is a very talented quarterback. Okay, he can put that ball down the field. Not only that, but he's he's big, strong, about 6'4", something like that. Uh, large neck, uh, got good strength. It's very, very tough to bring this man down, okay, on the uh, pass rush. Like I say, one of my favorite guys, and I think for the most part, He's productive and he's he's healthy, so he's going to show up. Uh, he doesn't have uh, issues with injuries, and I believe that he's going to get the Cowboys. He's the quarterback of the Cowboys. Uh, probably what, about about thirty five hundred uh, yards at least to four thousand. He's done that probably for what the last three years now. Uh, he's perform very outstanding, but I just think that the Cowboys have a lot of personnel issues and they have issues with defense. When I say personnel issues, I mean uh, coaching, okay? Uh, somewhere between the front office and then the coach. And I think when you have those type of issues, then that's going to trickle down on the players, morale and their attitudes, okay? But for the most part, uh, I hear a lot of these uh, rumbles about him having these me mental issues. It's unfortunate. Uh, he lost his mother, and I believe he had a brother that uh, com uh, committed suicide. I don't think his mother was that old, probably like in her early 50s, something like that. Uh, she was a nice-looking lady. I mean, I was shocked to find out that her mother passed away. I mean, his mother, I'm sorry. And I think this is taking a toll on him. And I guess one of the, the, I don't know, factors or matters that disturbed me was something, I guess, Skip Bayless were making a rant saying that it's no excuse and, you know, this and that or whatever. And he, it's like whatever that uh, he's the uh, quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys and this and that. And he may have a point, but I, I don't know. A lot of people looked at that as being insensitive. Okay. I don't know. I'm impartial about it. The guy's like 26 years old. So he's out there, but you have to he's going to have, messages. he's going to, oh, uh, oh man. Okay. This, I had a ride or whatever. Uh, I'm a, I'm a Lyft driver and it got canceled. But uh, back to what I was saying though, I kind of lost my train of thought y'all. Sorry. I don't know. I'm just impartial about it. I'll say this, you have a personal or morale side of this, and then you have a business part of this. I think the skip is right, but I believe it's somewhat his delivery, okay? I just say it, I'll just say like this, I don't think the Cowboys are, are really up on nothing anyway. They ain't really, really been hardly up on nothing since, like what, 96 when they won the last Super Bowl? All right, and they were one and done for many years. Actually, that Dak Prescott was the one since then that uh, won a playoff game. Okay, he was the one that did that. I don't know, but I feel the man's pain just from my experience, and this is the way I'm going to uh, analyze it from, I don't know, doing – having a career, I had a 20 year petroleum supply career. Now I still do transportation, but you know, I've been out of uh, petroleum supply because 
I don't know. I just don't think that they really pay enough and the work is not consistent. But long story short, um, first and foremost, rest in peace, uh, that's, uh, that, uh, that Prescott's brother. Uh, I believe that when you do lose a family member, it is going to take a toll on you, just depending on how close you are to that family member, his mother, his brother. And yeah, it's probably uh, taking a toll. And in the end of the day, it will some in some kind of way affect or offset your performance, okay? If you let it. But it's good to try to develop the willpower, all right, to overcome that, okay? We all uh, have, have times where we're going to have trials and tribulations, especially now in 2020 after this COVID ordeal, and there's going to be long time uh, effects. Some people are probably not going to recover ever. But my thing is make the proper adjustments. Now, I believe after this year, Dak Prescott is probably not going to be in Dallas or whatever. Okay. He's already been franchise tagged twice. And just so you guys, uh, if you don't know for new text messages. What uh, a franchise tag is, it, this is when the players and uh, the ownership uh, does not, okay, they cannot work out a long-term contract. So it's just something, uh, one contract, okay, for the time being. Okay, so the franchise uh, tag could be fairly high. It's a certain percentage of how much uh, uh, the total, I believe, uh, cap for the team and so forth so uh those i believe the cap for let's see dax prescott's around 30 something million dollars so it's fairly high but that doesn't really work out and uh well when you get franchised twice and i don't think they're going to franchise him three years in a row he's going to have to sign a contract or he's going to have to move on um i hope for the remainder of the year, and we're going to, or we just finished week three uh, tonight, and we're going to move on to week four of the league, of the 16 home game, uh, or regular season games next week. I hope that he's able to find a way that he can ruminate that, okay, and then be able to perform on the football field, because I can see on the business part of it, okay? I mean, I'm sorry, the morale part of it. Yeah, you know, he's lost a family member, okay, that, you know, I can see him being disgruntled or distraught or whatever. His feelings are hurt. But on the business side of it, then this is the National Football League, and he's, you know, in a very uh, demanding, prolific position. And he's expected to... Uh, play at a high level Okay Again I just think that he's At the age now 26, 27 Probably after I don't know You get up in your later 20s Then uh, You should realize that by then And again It should be a cautionary tool But I hope that Between Dak Prescott And his uh, coaching staff They're able to find a way To probably get this man some help uh, get whatever um, counseling that he needs, okay, therapy that he needs, and be able to perform on a high level. So we're early in the season, and they just got off a tough loss. I believe they lost to Seattle. I think it was something like 39 to 36 overtime. Um, if nothing else, you know, he could try to perform good enough to where he doesn't lose his marketability. Now, he's going to end up going somewhere else. And he's going to probably end up doing well, okay? He'll probably end up being a starting uh, quarterback. But, again, that he's able to play well enough, let's just say if he could do 300 yards a game, 350 or whatever, then he's still fairly marketable. Uh, I think that they'll be all right. Uh, I believe that the Cowboys from Rumbles that I've heard, they've been looking at moving in a different direction for quite some time. Um, I don't know, but that's just the way that organization is. Um, it is what it is. It's like, 
you got a general manager, you got the coaches trying to keep his job, a uh, brand new coach, Mike McCarthy, great coach, did a lot up there for uh, Green Bay. They're trying to keep their jobs, and the way, hey, the way this thing goes is, if you don't perform, they're gonna, hey, eventually they're gonna draft somebody else, push you over there to the sidelines, and end up getting you off the team. And you can have that same problem anywhere you go, if you don't perform. I mean, hey, that's just the way, hey, this this business works. That's the way any business works, okay? They, they're going to remove you if you don't do what they need you to do at the time they need you to do it. So I hope this is some, uh, maybe, I, I don't know, stimulate thought. Again, um, hopefully this man is going to find a way to, uh, to manage that. And, you know, I think moving forward in his career and his life, and I think he'll end up playing for a while. You'll see him for at least a good five years, okay? I know for a fact uh, the guy's healthy, uh, in excellent physical condition. You can see his physical appearance, a big burly man. Yeah, he's going to be in the league for a minute. So that's just my take on that. I think just sometimes it's just the deliver, the delivery, Okay. Uh, for some of these uh, pugilists and so forth. Uh, it may sound harsh, but me, I'm impartial. And I wish the man a, a, a good se a good season. He's going to be fine. He's going to play well. And, you know, he'll be able to leave uh, the football field, you know, one piece and get home safely. And uh, that's pretty much it for, the, uh, for now. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe. Check out my other channels. I have those channels already labeled at my on my first video. If you uh, scroll back to my first video, I'm going to start doing more videos on this channel here.